hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gives so much importance to visiting the sickly. Go and visit the elderly. You'll get a page of wisdom from them. And remember, when we visit, don't waste time. Some of you might have heard me saying in one of my talks when I was young, I visited one home with my mom. When I was quite young, went with my mother to one of her friend's house houses, and I remember distinctly on the door there was a sticker. And the sticker says, we are happy at your arrival, but we will be even happier when you depart. <laughs> I looked at it and I said, whoa, this is telling us not to waste time. So I was telling my mother, Ma, let's go, you know, let's go. She says, what are you such a big rush for? I said, I'll tell you later. When I went home, I told her mom, there was a sticker on the door. Now that was my mistake. That sticker was just a joke, I think. But I told my mother, this was the sticker. It says, we are happy upon your arrival, but we will be even happier when you depart. My mother picked up the phone, phoned a friend. Hey, why didn't you tell me? Why did you have to just stick a sticker? Anyway, they sorted out that problem which I had created by relating it. But the truth is, the point we are learning is when you visit people, have a time limit. You don't go and sit. Today we have technology. Message them. Make sure they are comfortable with your visit. Because when a person is not comfortable with your visit, it is the most destructive visit you would ever have. No productivity in it. They are sitting there making dua, Ya Allah, make them go. Ya Allah, make them go. Oh, these people arrived, you know. It's like when you knock on the door and someone comes out and they say, my dad told me to tell you that he's not here. Then you know that this means I'm not supposed to have been here at all. Lack of productivity. We've got technology, phone them. I'd like to come. Is it convenient for me to visit you? They'll tell you, no, perhaps come tomorrow, come the next day. I'm not going to manage. Okay, so let's make it for next week. Okay, fine, no problem. You've agreed. And when we visit, you don't sit whole day that people want to sleep and you're still sitting there. No, go away. I would prefer to have a short visit in a way that they tell you, we want you to come back. And they really mean it. Then for them to say, oh, we can't wait for you to come back. But they're meaning, get out. Allahu Akbar. We don't want that. So I'd rather ha have a short visit than to have a long one where they're sick and tired of me. The next time they see me from the intercom, from the video at the intercom, oh, this man, don't even answer the gate. Leave it. Everyone keep quiet. This attitude of hypocrisy is created because of our lack of productivity. We didn't think. So to think, to be courteous, to be polite, to be considerate. These are all qualities that will enhance the productivity of a person, more so if you're a Muslim. 